Hey everyone, I'm Tony with Clarks and Santoro, and this is our weekly real estate update for Friday, April 29th. In this series, we update you on the latest trends that are occurring in our real estate market here in San Ramon. Using our more than 50 combined years of experience helping clients buy and sell homes, we explain what those trends mean for you as a homeowner or as someone looking for a house you will love to call home. The current inventory is 33 homes, up from last week's 29. The average asking price of those homes was $1,893,000, which is slightly down from last week's average of $1,894,000. 10 homes asking an average of $2,179,000 went pending this week. That is more pending homes than last week's number of nine, with a higher average asking price from last week's $1,943,000. A total of 18 homes sold this week with an average sales price of $2,168,000. That average price was up from last week's average price of $2,110,000, and the total number of homes sold was higher than last week's 12. Those homes sold for an average over the asking price of $311,000 which was higher than last week's average of 215,000 over asking. In addition to the weekly sales metrics from the last seven days, we also track six key long-term indicators. These indicators help us measure the real estate market's health here in San Ramon, and they help us understand where it is headed. The first four indicators give us a qualitative look at what the market is doing, while the final two are more predictive of where the market might be headed. The first indicator is the inventory level of homes that are actively for sale. Last week, we gave this indicator a B+. This week, inventory numbers rose by 4, but still remain 30% lower than our average market amount. We are leaving this indicator at a B+. The downside to low inventory is the lack of choices for buyers, but for sellers, it means the continuation of bidding wars. If we were judging this metric from a buyer's point of view, we would give it a D. Our second indicator is how often the market inventory turns over. Last week, we gave this indicator a B+. The turnover rate slowed a little, dropping to 1.6 times a month from 2.14, but it is still a good indication of a strong market. Keep in mind, a turnover rate of one is a normal historical average. We give this indicator a B plus again. The third indicator is the amount of money buyers are paying over the list price. Last week, we had this indicator as an A plus. The 30 day rolling average of how much a buyer is paying over the list price dropped this week by about 8,000 to 275,000 over asking. This number has declined a little over the last two weeks, but is still very strong. We still give this indicator an A+. The fourth and final qualitative number is the average closing sales price. As a quick side note, the 30-day rolling average of the list price of pending sales exceeded $2 million for the first time ever in San Ramon. This is a clear sign that property values are still strong and appear to indicate that sales prices over the next 30 days will be much higher. Last week, we gave the sales price indicator an A. This week, our 30-day rolling average sales price is just less than $2,176,000. That is higher than last week, so we give this indicator the same grade as last week, an A. Now for our two predictive indicators. The first is the economic health and the financial value of the high-tech firms located in Silicon Valley. Last week, we gave this indicator a grade of B-. This week, the fund we track closely, Invesco Triple Q, dropped in value from 334 to 320. On January 1st this year, the fund stood 20% higher at 401. Over the last two months, it has declined about 12. It is my opinion that this fund and the high-tech industry is one of the most important predictive indicators of where our market could be headed. Most of our buyers come from this market and their buying power is tied to the high-tech industry. This week, we downgraded this indicator to a grade of C+. The second predictive indicator we use is the mortgage interest rates. Last week, we gave this indicator a lower grade of C- as rates moved up. This week, the rates increased a little from 5% to 5.1%. 
This is the highest they have been since 2012, over 10 years ago. And it appears that there will be more increases on the way. We'll keep this week's grade for this indicator at C-. This indicator remains one we need to watch closely for its effect on the market. Taken together, we give the overall market a grade of B, the same as last week. The continuing appreciation of prices balances out the small decline in the predictive indicators. To close out our episode this week, a quick note about selling your home and capital gains taxes. As we have mentioned over the past several months, there has been a huge run up in property values and appreciation over the last year and a half. The average home in San Ramon has increased in value by around $800,000 in that time. Consequently, homeowners will be facing the possibility of paying capital gains taxes if they sell their home at today's prices. One of the items that every homeowner should do if they are thinking of selling their home is to check with their tax accountant before signing any paperwork. Be sure you fully understand all tax consequences of your potential sale. I hope this weekly summary and commentary was helpful. Let me know in the comments down below or contact us directly if you have specific questions about what the numbers mean for you. And if you find this information helpful, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe so you can always be up to date on the latest real estate news here in San Ramon. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next week with a new update.